Hi, welcome to math. <clears throat> We're working today on lesson 8.2, which is problem solving. So everything on this lesson was word problems, but doing exactly what you did for 8.1. So if you're still struggling with the math for that, go back to um, the lesson from Tuesday, uh, lesson 8.1, and rewatch that video so that you um, can practice again with the math. Every one of the videos from now on is going to be on our YouTube um, channel. Hopefully it works um, each time we do this, but um, they all should be up there so you can go back and look at all of the old videos if you need to. So listen, 8.2 is problem solving. I posted the PDF of the practice book page for you guys to read through as I go through the problems so you know where the problems are coming from. Um, the only thing you have to turn into me though is the Google form, which is going to be the same type of problems as we're working on right now. So I'm going to be reading the problem to you and then I'm just going to show you the math up on the board because um, you're basically pulling the whole number and the fraction and you're dividing them, just what we did on Tuesday. Um, so we're going to start with the second problem if you're looking at your PDF um, practice book page right now. Um, so number two is, Allie has two vegetable pizzas that she cuts into eighths. How many one-eighth size pieces does she have? So <clears throat> up on the board here, we have our two numbers from that problem, which is two and one-eighth. All right, so we have two divided by one-eighth. And we're going to do what we did on... Tuesday with lesson 8.1. So we're going to be first flipping our fraction. Okay, so 2 divided by 1 eighth is really the same thing as 2 times 8 over 1. All right, and then we're just multiplying straight across. 2 times 8 is 16. And 16 is your answer, right? So 16 pieces would be your answer for number two. All right, our next problem, number three. A baker has six loaves of bread. Each loaf weighs one pound. He cuts each loaf into thirds. How many one-third pound loaves of bread does the chef now have? So should be baker. Um, so the baker did six loaves of bread. They were a pound each. The pound each is the nonsense that you can cross out. We're looking at the number six because we know we're working with six loaves of bread and we know that um, they're each cut into one third pounds. So six divided by one third. And we're gonna follow the same step where we flip our fraction and then multiply. So it's really six times we flip the three goes on top. We multiply straight across. Six times three would be 18. So we have 18 pieces of the bread. Okay. Um, just a reminder on these problems when you start with a whole number, you end your answer is also a whole number. So as we're working through all of these word problems, the first number in the word problem that you see is the first number that you write. So for all of these word problems, they all have a whole number in the beginning of the problem, which is going to go first, which means all of your answers are going to be whole numbers. If you get to word problems where a fraction comes first, then the fraction would be first um, and your math, and then your answer would be a fraction. So it just depends how the word problem is written. All right, number three, I'm sorry, number four. Uh, let me scroll up. So we have, um, suppose the baker has four loaves of bread and cuts the loaves into halves. How many one-half pound loaves of bread would the baker have? So we're taking our first number, which is four, and dividing it by one-half. And 
your first step is to flip the fraction. You may end up with 4 times 2 over 1. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay. Um, we have two more, which I'm going to try to squeeze on here. I hope you can see them. All right. Number five, Madeline has three watermelons that she cuts into halves to give to her neighbors. How many neighbors will get a one-half size piece of watermelon? So we have three watermelons divided by one-half. And after we flip, let me see that right, yeah. Mm -hmm. We flip our fraction, we end up with 3 times 2 over 1, which is 6. So we have 6 pieces of watermelon. Um, finally, your last one, number 6, a landscaper had 5 tons of rock to build decorative walls. He used one fourth ton of rock for each wall. How many decorative walls did he build? I wonder what that looks like. All right, so we have five to start. Five is our whole number divided by one fourth. And that was one fourth ton of rock. That is a lot of rock. So we're going to multiply and flip our fraction. So one fourth becomes four over one. And our final answer is 20. So that would be 20 walls that he built. So for time's sake here, I did not write the ending to your problem. But remember, with word problems, you do want to make sure that you're adding your ending. So for example, for the first one there, um, we were talking about how many pieces of pizza? Yes. Um, so we would end our number with our word, describing what we go back to the problem for. Um, same thing with clothes and so on and so forth. So um, your practice work for 8.2, your Google form, is another multiple choice. Um, and it will have the ending with the number. So make sure that the ending matches up to the question and the problem um, to double check on your work. But your work is going to be exactly this. These numbers are still pretty basic. Um, I just really want you to focus on flipping your fraction and getting into the habit of that before you multiply. And it seems like everyone did really great with it on 8.1. Um, I didn't really get any questions beyond a couple of the initial questions from Tuesday. And um, hopefully this goes just as smoothly. Um, and that was this whole lesson, just word problems. Um, and then someone had asked about chapter 8 in general. It's a really short chapter. So we're going to be through this. Um, maybe even by next week. Um, I think there's only five or six lessons in it, so it's the shortest chapter of the whole year, um, which is kind of good that we're starting it um, fully online, and hopefully it's not going to be too tricky for you. Um, but I will post another link to the con video as well. I know some of you said you didn't watch it. Watch it, because it's just extra practice, extra learning time for you, and it's something that... Um, I think explains this really well too and for you to go back and look at and just double check that you're doing it the right way okay all right so go on to your Google form now and you're doing 8.2 problem solving and that is all you're turning in for this lesson you don't have to submit any of these problems um, you can practice them all you want um, and then work on your Google form that's the only thing you're turning in for your math grade today all right. I will see you soon. Bye.